Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we will discuss how to solve 3 by 3 complex matrix. So, for this purpose, I have taken answer uh, from this question, chapter number 10, solution 39. And this is how uh, the matrix or the uh, determinant is given. These are the currents and this is the voltage and determinant is obviously impedance. So to find the determinant or actually to find I1, what I have done is I have just copied this with given little bit of space and I have named this with A, B, C, D. Now in the calculator we have nine variables A, B, C, D, E, F and X y and m so we have to use those nine so what we'll do that first of all we have written or given name a to the first one then we have minus eight we have given it name b and just to save our variables since there is another minus eight so we'll also call it b then j15 is c and there is another J15, so we'll call that also as C. So B is done. Now this is D, 8 minus J9. And then we have minus J16 E. Here is another minus J16, so that is also E. And 10 plus J, J is F. And on the voltage side, 1264 is M. These two are zero, so no need of putting them any value. Now, the determinant, I hope you know how to calculate. We take A and then multiply these two. So we have taken A, multiply DF, cross multiply DF minus EE, minus EE. Then we come to the second one, minus B. So we take minus B, again cross multiply BF minus EC. So BF minus EC and then plus sign C. So plus C, BF, uh, sorry, BE and DC. So BE minus DC. So this is the determinant part. And then uh, to find current I1, we have to use delta 1 by delta. So for delta 1, we replace the first column by the voltage value. So we are replacing this column by this voltage value here. So this becomes our delta 1. And for this, the equation will now become M multiplied DF minus E. So M multiplied DF minus E. And since these two are 0, so uh, there will be 0. So the, the, these are the two values that we have got for delta and delta 1. Now, if you want to find this, you can find, I will sh I'll show you at the end, but let's first of all find the current I1. So it is delta 1 divided by delta. Delta 1 is this value, so we write here, and this is delta, so I'm writing here. And the answer uh, that the book has is this. So we'll see whether we are getting this answer with the help of our calculator or not. So let's bring in the calculator. Okay, so this is the calculator. We'll turn it. Uh, we'll clear everything. Turn it on again, and just to make sure that it is in the complex mode, what I'll do is we'll press the mode. So mode two is for complex, so we'll press two. So now you can see it is in the complex mode and ready to enter the value. So, in, there are two methods. In, in the method that I am following, first of all, we enter the equation. So this is the equation that we have to enter. And to enter this equation, we take this division uh, sign. So, we press this. Now, we will enter the value in the numerator. So, M bracket DFEE. -E. Now, to enter these values, these are the values A, B, C, D, E, F x y and m now to enter these values we have to press alpha every time uh, and 
and then we enter. So we want to enter first of all A, so alpha and A. So it is there, now we put bracket sign and then we have DF minus EE. E. So alpha D, alpha F minus alpha E, alpha E. Bracket close. I'm sorry. We had to put in this value. So let's clear this. M D F E E. So M bracket alpha D alpha F minus alpha E alpha E bracket close. So we have entered the numerator part. Now to the go to the denominator we use this key here press down. So we are now in the denominator and now we'll use these values A D F E E. So let's do A D F minus E E bracket close minus B B F E C minus B B F minus E C bracket close plus C B E D C plus C bracket B E B E minus D C bracket close. So we have inputted the equation and now we will press this calculate. So when we are pressing calculate you forget this this is from the earlier calculation that I had done you have to enter the value of M how much is the value 1264 so let's enter 12 now angle 64 to use angle you have to use this sign that is shift and minus so angle and now we input 60 4 plus equal sign so that is gone now D again just ignore this D how much is D E minus J9 so, uh, sorry 8 minus J9 so 8 minus 9 and I for I we press this engineering button this is I so 8 minus 9 I equal sign then F 10 plus J so 10 plus J or I equal sign E minus J 16 so minus 16 I equal sign A 28 minus J 15 so 28 minus 15 I equal sign B minus 8 minus 8 equal sign C J 15 so 15 I equal sign ok so now this has uh, given the answer but since this is not very neat we will press SD so when we press SD you can see the answer and this is the same as we have this is minus 1 point uh, minus 0 0.128 we have minus 0 0.12798 and plus 0.359 so plus uh, 0.359 and now to go into the polar answer uh, we have to use this complex box so shift complex 
we are getting couple of options we need to go to polar so we just select 3 r r uh, theta so 3 answer r theta yes equal sign so this is the answer in polar form again we press sd to make it neat so 0 0.381 0 0.381 angle 109 so this is how you calculate the current etc now say you just want to calculate the uh, delta value uh, we can do that also so let's just clear and for the determinant we have to now uh, put in this all this values so let's do it again alpha bracket df minus ee d f minus e e bracket close minus b bracket bf ec plus C B E D C plus C bracket B sorry and this is here B E minus Again, asking the values since we have already put in the, the values are the same, so we'll just keep saying equal B equal F equal E equal B equal C equal. So this is the value 5750 minus 9561 is the value of the determinant. So I hope uh, uh, this gives you an understanding as to how to solve this type of a problem. Thank you.